Hi guys, my name is Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. <laughs> I have had a noticeable influx of review requests for a certain film lately. I feel like I know you guys pretty well and my apologies because sometimes I forget that even though I've shared my taste for films, my love of films, what films I love and what films I hate, online for the past three years I forget that you guys also know me well. But when I first heard of Pie Whack It, I assumed it was a zombie film and I blame Aussie action horror Wormwood for this. But Pie Whack It was a whole new kettle of fish so thank you again for hounding me because this film was right up my alley. The meaning behind Pie Wacket is a spirit of a witch or a demon. The name was actually made popular by none other than Matthew Hopkins, the infamous witch finder general in Manningtree, Essex, England during the 1600s. But this Pie Wacket visits the modern world when angsty occult obsessed teen Leah is going through a tough time at home and decides to call upon the spirit to kill her mother. The film gave me Blair Witch Book of Shadows type vibes. But don't worry, that wasn't because of the storyline. It was actually because of the grudgy characters. What I loved about these goth kids is that they were almost reminiscent of 90s films like The Craft. And I get this isn't a selling point for everyone, but I really liked that the director took the approach to sell the kids as already occult obsessed instead of making it seem like they were at the breaking point and it was their last option. And the film itself is also dark and I'm talking the picture quality Quality. You'll find yourself, if you watched it in daylight like I stupidly did, squinting to see what's in the shadows. So keep it in mind to maybe watch this one in a dark room. Another technical aspect that I want to mention is the jump scares. Uh, but they weren't really jump scares, they were more like jump sound scares and they were more of transitional scares. A couple of the transitions between scenes were abruptly changed by a loud sound in the following scene. So this would go from them looking in the shadows to someone like drawing dropping a laundry basket. Completely unrelated to the prior scene, but it still kind of made you jump. I don't know if I felt like this was cheap, uh, but I still kind of liked it for the shock value, but I can see why other people might not like this. But let's talk about the things I really did like about this film. The storyline is insane just because we have seen things like this happen before in movies. Uh, someone wishing badly on others, uh, people messing with the occult, people messing with black magic. But I really like how this film kind of stripped away everything else and just made it about that one subject. Normally you'd see, you know, the evil rise and things take over and it would just kind of move on from there. But this film just focused on the fact that she has called upon Pie Wacket and she is waiting for whatever is meant to happen to happen happened to her and it's about the guilt of doing it um, which is something that I think a lot of people can relate to because a lot of people have bad thoughts or negative thoughts at some point and they feel really guilty about them so I thought that was a really interesting kind of take for a horror movie and you were just waiting the whole time with her trying to figure out if it's gonna happen or not and I think it was just really interesting to see a film and the character Leah psychologically go through the guilt um, and the terrifying consequences to her actions and I, for that I really loved it it's like when you're obsessed with the thought, you know me, I like stalker films, I know I always talk about it, but you know, it, it's like when you're obsessed with one aspect of a film and it really went straight into that and um, I really like how it was kind of analyzing that subject matter, uh, something that I haven't seen before. Another thing I think the film does really well is it actually takes itself very seriously, this is not a jokey film at all and um, I felt the terror <laughs> between the characters and the teens and I just thought that they played that really well. It was almost like a February or Black Coat's Daughter in a way. It's definitely more commercialized than that film but it's very much like the characters uh, Tara is just all emotional and nothing's really said on the table, if that makes sense. I thought the actors did a tremendous job at um, this film. I don't know if you've picked it up yet by all the clips I've been playing, but the mother is actually from The Walking Dead. Uh, I thought that was interesting. But I do want to come to the conclusion without giving too much away that this film is actually super disturbing and the final scenes will have you fucked up like it's pretty insane it goes from like zero to a hundred real quick and um some really disturbing images that you don't normally see in a lot of horror movies or movies don't really take it there um so i was very impressed by that i will say that the final scene the final final scene wasn't that impressive for it to end on for me i'm not going to give anything away um but i just didn't think it even needed that but this film was such an original idea for something that's been done so many times and i feel like horror movies always skim over kids playing with the occult, kids doing black magic, blah blah blah. 
uh, but this one really zeroes in and just makes you kind of squirm and you kind of know where every character is coming from but it is very brutal and I just think it's a terrifying modern horror movie that really zeroes in on black magic and the occult and Satan worship and I think it does a tremendous job at it. No, it's not the most amazing film that I've seen this year but I think Pie Whack it was a really interesting watch and something that I'll probably watch again if you haven't checked it out and you are interested in films that feature the occult or about teenagers, especially gothy teenagers, I'm sure a lot of you guys out there love that like me, uh, I definitely recommend this movie. Pie Whack It, uh, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for personal. I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 for scare and this is purely for the disturbingness of it and then also there's a couple of scenes that really make your skin crawl. And originality, this is a hard one as always. Uh, I felt like it was original in the fact that it zeroed in, but the topic is not very original. So for that, I'm gonna have to give it like a three. I do think this film is definitely worth watching. Thank you to everyone who hounded me to review this. I hope you guys are having a great day. Please let me know if you've seen Pie Whacker, what you thought down below, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Stay spooky, bye.